are having trouble staying on top of their finances, it's really important for you as their financial caregiver to be monitoring their financial accounts. And the reason I say this is because you want to make sure your parents aren't making late payments, missing payments, making duplicate payments, make sure there's not any unusual activity that could be signs of scam or fraud. It's your job to help protect your parents and their finances. But I realize that your parents might be reluctant to give you this sort of access. They might be embarrassed about what's going on behind the scenes in their bank account, or they might simply think it's none of your business. Well, if you are your parents' power of attorney already, and you've contacted their financial institutions to let them know that you are the power of attorney, you've shared that power of attorney document with them, then legally you have access to these accounts. Now, if you are not power of attorney yet, I would encourage you to make sure your parents name you their power of attorney, ask them to meet with an attorney so that they can draft that document and so you have that legal access. But if your parents are willing to share usernames and passwords with you for their accounts, then you can view them. You don't have the legal right to make any sort of transactions for them if you're not their power of attorney, but you can start viewing those accounts to be that second set of eyes. You know, one way you can sort of ease your way in to monitoring your parents' accounts is to offer to help them set up automatic bill payments. Let them know this is gonna make life easier for them. They don't have to worry about making late payments or missed payments if they happen to be out of town. It's all gonna be taken care of if they set up their accounts to be paid automatically. So you sit down with them, log into their bank account, set up those automatic transfers or log into those service provider accounts and link their bank account. And as you do this, you can get that username, that, that password to log in, keep a list as you set up these accounts so that you have that information. You know, another thing you could do is offer to help them set up online accounts if they haven't already. They might only be relying on monthly statements from their bank to keep tabs on what's going on. And so you wanna let them know, hey mom and dad, this is a really good way to keep an eye on your accounts at all times. You can check your bank account every day if you want. You don't have to wait until the end of the month. Let me help you set up online banking. Let me help you set up an online account for your retirement account. You know, let me help you set up an account for your social security benefits. You can go to the social security administration and create a MySSA account. Encourage your parents to set up these online accounts as a way to be safer, to keep tabs on their accounts and not have to wait until the end of the month to see what's happening. And as you sit down and help them create these accounts, you can make a list of those usernames and passwords for both your parents and for yourself. And then you can start monitoring those accounts from behind the scenes. And like I said, if you're not already the power of attorney, you don't have any legal right to go into those accounts and make any transactions. But if you're simply keeping an eye on your parents' accounts, that's okay as long as they've given you permission to go in and look at those accounts. Um, but it's so important that you are paying attention to what's going on behind the scenes because you don't want your parents to be missing payments. You don't want them to be making unusual transactions. You don't want them to become victims of scam and not realize what's going on because those small mistakes can become really big problems really quickly if you're not paying attention. Another really easy way to do this is to use the Careful app. It's gonna link, you link your parents' accounts to the app, it's gonna monitor them 24 seven for unusual activity, and then you'll get an alert if something is amiss. You simply just reach out to your parents and say, hey, I noticed there was some unusual activity in your account, what's going on? I would also encourage you as you are setting up online accounts for your parents or helping them set up automatic bill payments, that you sign up to receive alerts from those financial institutions whenever there's any sort of activity on the account. You can get, oftentimes you have the option of getting an email alert or a text alert, so you can set it up so that both you and your parents are getting alerts. I really think that this is so helpful, again, in keeping tabs. This, this is what I did with my own credit card account. I get alerts whenever there are transactions and I was able to catch 
fraudulent purchases really quickly because I got an alert once letting me know that a purchase had been made and I hadn't made that purchase. Got on the phone right away, let the credit card company know that I didn't make that purchase. So if you're getting these alerts about your parents' accounts and there's something unusual going on, you can respond quickly. But like I said, it's so important for you to monitor your parents' accounts. If they're reluctant to let you do that, let them know that by being a second set of eyes, you can help protect them and their money.